O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your Spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the world. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. God calls us to love one another. Oh come, let us worship. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, Give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing. And may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Some words from the Psalms. Psalm number 8. Lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the stranger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little, little lower than the angels, and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea. All that swim, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Here is a psalm that speaks about joy more than anything else. It tells us about joy. Not all the psalms are like that, of course. Some of the psalms are lamentations. In other words, psalms that reflect sadness or grief or... Psalms that reflect regret. There's a lot of that about at the moment, of course. Just turning on the news and reflecting on our current situation. And being reminded of the growing numbers of people who are affected by this awful coronavirus. And of course those who have died. Those numbers are grim and more than depressing. And we're told each day, of course, of the growing numbers affected. They are more than numbers. They are more than statistics. They are real people, real situations, real families, affected in an awful way. Every loss, every death, so incredibly sad. Every loss, an individual tragedy. We're all affected, of course, even with the, the frustrations of simply being locked in and not being able to 
get out, not being able to see family and friends, not being able to give a hug or, or even just hold a hand. Very, very frustrating. So many of the Psalms express that sense of despair. But this Psalm, Psalm number 8, is not one of them. It describes instead God's glory and the presence of God in all creation. It is a psalm of pure joy. It talks about the moon and the stars and the birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, that all show, all proclaim the majesty of God, the power of God seen in creation. How do we hold the two together? The despair of so many, the tragic loss of life, and at the same time, the God who made the heavens and the earth, the moon and the stars. It's a hard one to, to address, certainly. But what we do know, that even in the midst of frustration and tragedy and sadness and loss, there are signs of hope, even perhaps signs of joy. What about the 99-year-old army captain, Tom Moore, eager to mark his 100th birthday by completing 100 laps of his garden? He's not going to stop there. He's going to carry on going, I, I, I'm sure. And originally wanting to raise a thousand pound for the NHS, that figure has now passed the ten million pound mark. It's hard to believe, hard to contemplate. But it's true, there is a sign of hope and joy. But of course we can all spread joy. We can all spread joy when we stand outside our homes every Thursday at eight o'clock and clapping, clapping the wonderful NHS workers. We spread joy when we give somebody a call, or send a message of encouragement, or paint a rainbow, which I'm encouraging all of you, of course, to do. Because these things are signs of hope and confidence that there will be a better future. There is joy and hope, even in the bleakness and the despair of our present situation. Let's keep on hoping and trusting, and deep down retaining that sense of joy, joy in the God who will never ever let us go. Let us pray. This we know. The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. This we know. All families are, are connected. We are one family. Let us give thanks for the gift of creation. Let us give thanks that all things hold together in Jesus Christ. Amen.